Hi, my name's Emma and I'm going to be talking about the evolutionary arms race between the carpenter ant and the fungus that affects it, the zombie fungus. Evolutionary arms races are fascinating because the two players, the parasite and its host, are constantly adapting to try and overcome one another. This leads to the formation of really complex and interesting relationships between the two players. One amazing example of this comes from the carpenter ants of the Brazilian rainforest and the cordyceps fungus that infects it. Now, the carpenter ants live high up in the canopy of the rainforest, where environmental conditions are really changeable and no good for fungal replication. So what the fungus does is manipulate the ant's behaviour and force it to move down closer to the forest floor, where environmental conditions are much more stable. We think that it does this by using a powerful combination of chemicals that affect the ant's brain and therefore manipulates its behaviour. This is thought because the fungus is a close relative of the fungus from which LSD is derived from, which also uses powerful brain chemicals. So once the fungus has infected the carpenter ant, it forces it to move down much closer to the forest floor. Here, it forces it to grip onto the underside of a leaf with its jaws in a powerful death grip, and then it kills it. Over the next two weeks, the fungus will grow a spore dispersal structure out of the back of the ant corpse's head, which might look a little something like this. So once it's done this, it can then fire missile-like spores out of the ant corpse onto the ground below to try and hit passing unsuspecting carpenter ants. To maximise the likelihood of doing this, the fungus must produce spores constantly and over a maintained period of time. To get the nutrients to do this, the fungus wraps external brown hyphae all round the ant corpse and sucks all the nutrients out of the corpse. These hyphae also produce anti-malarial metabolites, so we think that they have a dual function in also warding off other microbes that might outcompete the zombie fungus. But the truly amazing thing about this relationship is the precision with which the fungus can position the ant. Almost always, the ant is 25 centimetres from the forest floor and on the north-northwest of the side of the plant. Here it's protected from the wind to create a low temperature but high humidity which is perfect for fungal replication. This evolutionary arms race is fascinating because it provides a really good insight into evolution. Over just the last year alone, four new species of zombie fungus have been identified in the Brazilian rainforests. So who knows what else might be out there?